Mm. What can I do you for, honey? Oh, you work here? <laughs> I work everywhere. Yeah, I'm covering for my son. Oh. Mm. So, I'll have a double decaf espresso tea with extra cream and lots of ice. Mm. That's a lot of legal substances for a little litty bitty little drink. Mm. <laughs> well, it's been a rough couple of weeks, but it's finally over and we came out on top. Oh, that's my favorite position. On top of who might I ask? We got a conviction in the Cochrane case. I'm D.A. Hughes' secretary, Joyce O'Malley. You, who's hiding? You're a lucky girl. I'm Roxy, by the way. Foxy Roxy's hair haven. I could do something with those pigtails. Oh. Any relation to Rex? <laughs> you know him too, yeah. He's my baby boy. Yeah. Oh, real well. He's always hanging around the police station. You know, speaking of the police station, you know, the Landview PD, they've been looking for this adopted kid that's been missing, and Rex is working with the commission on that. Um, have you heard him talk about that at all? Oh, nothing's crossed my desk, but uh, Rex should talk to my boss about it. Uh, Mr. Hughes is always making donations to charities for adopted kids. It's real important to him. Maybe he could hook Rex up with some people who could help him. Maybe of course. Yeah. Roxy. Yeah, honey. Two shots. Nothing girly. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> no girls allowed, huh? Who are you? Name's Joyce. And if I can buy the next round, will you make an exception for me in your little clubhouse? I want a natural look, nothing too done up or posed, um, but I want some fresh camera angles, sort of like you just got caught going about your day, uh, candid, but not. Honey, mm -hmm. um, oh dear, I I it's that, uh, it's that agent that keeps calling you. He just won't take no for an answer. Again? God, that guy can't take a hint. You know, I was only nice to him at Ultraviolet because I didn't want to be rude, but now he's practically stalking me. I'm working, okay? I don't have time to be wined and dined. Giovanni, uh, there's nobody there. Oh, I guess he finally got the message. Finally. <laughs> He went, when we got to the cabin, all we did was fight. <laughs> all she tried to do was figure out what happened to Jessica to make her split in two. And? Well, I almost told her. But I couldn't. The secret is the only thing that's keeping me from being sucked into Jessica's psyche. That's why I can't go back to Landview, don't you see? Her family is never going to stop trying to figure out. And once they do, it's over for me. So I can't go home right now. I am your home. You remember? Come on, let's go back to Landfair. I'll protect your secret. I'll, but what if... I'll help you through the next few months. What if? No ifs, ands, or buts. Just help me put Clint's mind at ease. All right, we can take on your family. We can take on the whole damn town if we have to. You won't have to do it alone. I promise. I'm sorry. You can go and do whatever you want. But I'm not leaving this phone line. Tell me 
only about you, Joyce. Mm, let's see. Uh, the Manning trial was a lot of late nights. Uh-huh. Not that I'm not up for late nights for the right reasons, you know? I mean, if the occasion arises. Oh, it arises. Got a question. The Margaret Cochran murder case, is it really over? Hey, you know, Craig, if it wanted thrills, it would have taken the roller coaster. Sorry. Tried a different altitude, but it's only a patch job. The storm's pretty bad. Now we've got radio issues. I'll take a look at it. In the worst case scenario, we fly back to Ohio, wait for the storm to pass. Well, I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure that doesn't happen. And believe me, sweetheart, I know how difficult it must be for you being smitten with a boy that your mother wants to restrain you from seeing. It is much more than smitten, Mom. Fine. However, I do remember the tears that you shed over River and Duke, and, and yet, look at you. You came out of it. You're now the editor of a fashion magazine. You're gracing its cover. You... So whatever happens with Rex, good, bad, indifferent, I know that my beautiful, gorgeous baby girl is going to come through it just fine. Thank you for understanding. I think I'm going to go see what Rex is up to. Well, good. <laughs> I'll um, stay here and uh, close up the shop. Great. Thanks. All right. You're I will see you later. All right. I'm not altogether sure that they're searching for Vicky and Jesse. What? Then who? Nikki and Tess? It looks that way, yeah. Oh, this is unbelievable. Have I been completely cut out of the family loop or what? Oh, Kevin, you haven't been cut out of anything. Well, what's going on? Who, who knows anything? I mean, I think I have the answer to that. What are you doing here? What is she doing here? The help let me in. The help? Yes. Oh, the phone rang, so I answered it and took a message. That was while Clint was showering. <laughs> you answered our phone? Who called? Oh, um, someone from the uh, Lantano Mountain Ranger Station. Well, was there any news about Vicky or Jesse or Nash, for that matter? No, I'm afraid not. Now, I don't want this to sound like an interrogation, so why don't I just start off and... Tell you, well, the only thing that we know. And then we need some answers. We need them fast. Kevin, come on. Uh, Antonio got hurt when he was looking for you. He hurt his leg. He's in the hospital right now, but they say that he's going to be all right. Good. All right. Um, you want me to get some dinner made up for you? Yes, please do so. All right. Okay, Nash, maybe you can tell us what happened to my mother. He doesn't know anything. Well, maybe you can tell us. She doesn't know anything either. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Both vouching for each other. Listen, last time I saw her, we were hitchhiking. Some guy in a truck picked us up. Could you be a little more specific? It was a white truck. Kevin, come on. Calm down. I'm not calming down, all right? My mother is out there somewhere. She's Nikki. I've been through this before. Nikki is out of control. We have to find her before she gets in trouble and she hurts mom in the process. And Jess, Tess here is the only one that knows where she went. I don't think I'm gonna break her in two by asking a few questions. Just I'm already here. broken in two in case you forgot. You wanna try to break me in three? Bring it on. You know what I'd like? I would like Jessica to come back. Huh? Yeah. Come back, Jessica! Listen, you're crossing a line here, okay? I am not crossing the line. I'm part of this family. I think I can ask a question concerning my mother, don't yeah. you? Enough. 
You know what? I'm having a conversation with my fiance right now. She doesn't need you to come to her rescue. All right, Kevin. Now you take it easy. Even my family's castrating me. This is unbelievable. You know what? You don't want my help. You don't need my help. Good luck. Well, I'd certainly like to know what that was about. Give it a rest, Dorian. Tess, um, I'm really glad that you and your baby are back. Leave, all right? In Jessica's bed. Yeah, I don't see why not. Great. Why don't you guys go on ahead? Clint, is there anything that I can do? Yeah. Would you call that number? Tell that man to get here as soon as possible. Dr. Jameson. Jesse, psychiatrist. Look, Dad, I know you're going through a lot right now, okay? But it doesn't mean that you have to take it out on everybody else. Are you lecturing? No, no. I just, I just think that we all need to stay focused and keep our heads, especially when we're with Jessica, okay? She's fragile. That isn't Jessica. I mean, I know it's a little confusing, son, but Tess is anything but fragile. It's the same with Nikki. Okay, maybe not. But you still didn't need a snap at Kelly. But you saw how down she was when she walked out of here. She didn't want to go home. Oh, we're getting to the meat now, aren't we? Is that what this is about? Kelly? What? Huh? All of a sudden, you feel like you need to play the role of the protector for your father's oh, fiance? come on, Dad. Come on, what? Huh? You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but you couldn't even play that role with your little girlfriend, could you? <laughs> no, thanks, Dad. Kick your son while he's down. That's great. What is it between you and Kelly, anyway? Huh? Every damn time I see you, you're comforting her. Hey, how far would you go to comfort her, Duke? Now that you know that I can't give her the baby that she wants more than anything in the world, how far would you go? You've gone too far, Dad. But maybe you should cut back. That's how you respond to this? With a smart-ass statement? Maybe you should start thinking about your own relationships before you rip into anybody uh, excuse else's. Me, don't you talk about I relationships with me. What? I don't know what you're arguing about. But would you just keep it down for the sake of the rest of us? Now, where's Dorian? Did she call Dr. Jameson? I don't know. I think she left. No, as a matter of fact, I am still here. I called Dr. Jameson, and he's on his way over. All right, good. Thank you, Dorian. When he gets here, send him right up. Yes, I will do that immediately. So, um, how's Adriana? Oh, Adriana's gonna be just fine. I've taken care of that. 